everybody knows it's a genocide. We have inquiries, commissions saying it's a genocide. So with that overwhelming evidence, as well as our own prime minister say it was genocide, I think it's time. And I think most Canadians would, would, would agree that it's time that we proceed with criminal charges against the government and the churches in this matter. Attorneys across Canada are calling for criminal investigations and charges related to deaths at Kamloops and Maravel Indian residential schools. Canada's attorney general says he can't initiate an investigation. Only the police can. But legal minds say this isn't exactly a hands-off job for the AG. There is a provision in our criminal code um, for acts of genocide, um, but again, it requires the Attorney General to consent. And as well, there is something called the Crimes Against Humanity and War Crimes Act that was passed in Canada in 2002 uh, that basically you can charge everyone who commits genocide with an offence under this act but again requires the consent of the Attorney General. The Native Women's Association of Canada says not only are criminal charges possible, it's Canada's responsibility to try and find who's criminally at fault, but at least one legal expert says it could be a tough charge to prove. Especially when it comes to a very serious crime, like a crime against humanity, it certainly means that the Crown has to prove beyond a reasonable doubt, but that being able to meet that standard actually can, it can actually become more and more difficult to meet that threshold the more and more time goes by as evidence is lost, witnesses' memories fade, and everything else. David Millward is an attorney and law professor from Beardies and Okamasis First Nation. While Millward says he personally believes crimes against humanity happened, meeting the legal burden of proof is tougher, and prosecutors tend to lay charges in cases they believe they can win. If there's not a decision to go forward with the prosecution, it was not necessarily, it may not necessarily be a sweep under the rug. It could be an assessment that there just isn't enough evidence to bring forward a case. The Native Women's Association of Canada says it's prepared to bring the case to the International Criminal Court, and some attorneys have already referred the case to the ICC's chief prosecutor. But international law experts say there are some hurdles. Pacific Manu Rakiza says the ICC only has jurisdiction to prosecute individuals, not nations, and the ICC can't prosecute cases dating to before its 2002 establishment. Manu Rakiza adds that the ICC's chief prosecutor has also reaffirmed that it is a court of last resort. The ICC can only intervene uh, when a state is either unwilling to do so, to do uh, to carry out investigations and uh, uh, prosecutions, we, uh, 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 or where the, the state is unable to do so. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.